Ah, there you are. Okay, today I will show you how I use iMovie to make uh, the movie clips I put on my YouTube channel. The trick here is to synchronize the uh, footage from the um, dashboard camera with the footage from the iPhone. And that's a bit tricky and a bit, bit time consuming, but it can be done. So what I do at this point, I do a split image where I um, uh, have these two images side by side. And then later on, I do a picture within a picture. And uh, you see that here where I switch from um, split screen to picture in the picture and um, you can resize it put it into its right position put a shadow on it and then um, put the intro uh, little footage in front of it and um, then you save that always use a better quality and uh, give it a name and uh, save it uh, to the hard disk. So after you saved it to the hard disk, you then uh, go back to iMovie and um, see if you got it right. There it is, looks all good. And then you select all of it and you delete it because you don't need that anymore and then you reload that file you just saved and you put the next um, enhancement on this one is what they call a cinema opening where you have these two scissors opening up the screen and that has been made uh, specifically for this for this video and um, giving it the right position and um, shorten it a bit because it's too long and that's okay because you can always shorten things but if it's if it's too short and then make it longer eh, not so good so as you can see here it uh, opens up the screen nicely it takes about four seconds or so and um, so I stop it there and then I uh, go to modify split clip and remove the part I don't need so now I get the front part where it opens up nicely that looks good I can sell that I'm happy with that so now I can um, save the settings and I'm saving over the old file. I will uh, rewrite the old file. So when I save, then it said replace, and off you go. So now you select all that, delete it, and you load in the new file that you just saved, and you run it to see that everything is okay, that everything is the way we want to have it. So that's the there's the logo, there's the scissor going up. So that's all very well. So what we do now, we do another picture in the picture. And uh, that is that Escher triangle. So we put that in and then extend it all the way to the end of the, of, uh, the clip. And in the beginning, I struggled to to get it right because the one thing I didn't realize that you have to go in and make it fit so you go into the um, crop to fit or just fit we just fit it so it the whole Asher fit Asher triangle fits into it and then we do picture on the picture and we make it a bit smaller because it's too big Put it in the left top corner, give it a shadow, and then see how it how it moves into the into the frame. 
yep that's perfect and um, the two movies are perfectly synchronized up to actually up to the frame and what I found amazing they stay synchronized all the way through no matter how long you make the movie they all stay stay the same okay now you selecting all your stuff you have in iMovie delete it and reload the file you've just saved and uh, spread it out and then we put the next enhancement but first we still have a look if it if it looks all right so here comes the scissor and there is the triangle perfect so what we want to put in now is the web address and I have that web address white on a transparent background so it's right text on a transparent background now putting it into the right corner at the right time and again here what you have to do you have to go into crop to fit but you don't put crop to fit you just put in fit so it's um, it can be resized otherwise it doesn't work it's a bit of a pain in the neck but anyhow not to worry it, it works it works and that's all we want so we make it fit and then we go to picture in the picture and then we, we move that thing oh you have to spread it out it's too it's too cramped so and then finding it at the right starting point and um, then we're moving it to the bottom left corner and you can put it really close to the frame of the uh, of the uh, video file the video clip yep comes at the right moment that all looks very good and I tried to get it a little bit further down but apparently that um, that doesn't work so that's that's as close as you get it to the to the bottom corner even if you get it in the picture a little bit closer but then when the video is running it, it jumps back to a minimum distance from the frame okay then we save that one again and uh, select better quality save save it over the old one so you always deal with the latest version and then you select what you've just done delete it download or put in the new file and um, now we need to put an end screen in the end screen is important for YouTube because you can put a subscribe button in and um, uh, the link to two other videos and um, the important thing here is and took me a while to figure that out it is necessary to make that thing 18 seconds long if it's 18 seconds long you can play with it the right way and um, people can cut off the video before the end of it but it's important uh, that you start right and you got the the right stuff at the beginning so this is a picture of me looking into the camera with that please subscribe and the error and um, that is now uh, 18 seconds long and what I'm doing here I'm doing a transition in there and um, Apple gives you quite a few transitions uh, with iMovie and the one I like the best is swipe left I usually use that one and then go back and see what it looks like yep that will work well particularly with the YouTube setup so now we can go and save that again that will be our final saving for that um, for that file and here where it says tags I put my name in <coughs> I mean you got tags in YouTube as well but I put it in anyhow okay so we save that one and now we can delete all that and now we go into handbrake 
because we have to take we have to turn the MOV file into an MP4 file, and um, that cuts the size rather drastically and also the upload time. And when we have done that, we're going into into iTunes, uh, iTunes, <laughs> YouTube, and um, we um, adjust the end screens. And as you can see here, there you have the um, the wipe swipe left, and um, now we have to move the um, the items into the right spot. So that round button is where my um, where my please subscribe link is, and then you have the two links to other videos. You can put in any any video you want. It doesn't even have to be your own video. You can you can go to any video there is. And the only thing left to do is uh, extend all three of them to the end of the clip. And um, the work is done. And then we can go and um, make that video public. On this video, you, you will also see the um, um, the same end picture. So I stagged it a little bit, so now you can see how it comes comes in. We swipe to the to the left. The round button comes. The two videos come. Yeah, and the whole thing is done. We save it and. Um, we publish it and there we go okay guys see you later